Hi Natalie, this is Jenny. Um, please excuse the quality of this video, but I'm just going to do a quick example of one method you can use to do a structured search in PubMed, and you can use this in most other databases too. Mainly what you're looking for is the ability to use um, an advanced search where you can choose what field you're searching in and then also your search history which will show each search on a different line and let you combine the lines um, as you like. So that lets you kind of build a complex search step by step instead of doing it kind of all in one paragraph or something like that. Although you can also do it that way. Um, if you're going to do that I would recommend doing that in a Word document or a, even better a plain text file ahead of time. But I'm just going to use your example um, here, what you have here so far, just to demonstrate what this would look like. So if you were going to do a search in PubMed in the title, abstract, and medical subject heading fields, um, I would start with your first concept and I would start with your keyword search. So I would just copy that. And then if you saw, I went from um, PubMed's homepage to the advanced search. And I'll put that keyword search in the top search box and change the field here to title abstract. So you'll see up in this box here, it um, kind of translates what you're doing into the um, code, coded language that PubMed uses to search. So you can see it's added square bracket title slash abstract after each term. So you can certainly, you know, copy paste this into a Word document um, and use that as a framework to structure out example um, searches, you know, just as in like a paragraph form. But um, that's what this is going to search here. So I'm going to search that. And I'll go back to advanced search. See, now you can see the search history down here. Um, this is an earlier search that we don't need right now. So I'm going to delete that from the history. Um, so you can see it's got number seven. That's just because I've done other searches today. And I'm signed in up here in my MyNCBI account. Um, it, you know, as long as you're keeping track of which is the first number, um, this, this doesn't matter, but you can see that um, it shows here our search is for these keywords in the title abstract field, and that's the total number of results there. So next, we would do your mesh search. So I can copy this. So um, control copy, command copy, right click copy, uh, whatever method works. and. In this case, since you already have the square bracket mesh um, here, we don't need to change the field, but uh, we can go ahead and do that and change it to mesh terms. Um, we're already searching mesh because of the square brackets there, so I can say search. Okay, and then we have 19,243. We go back to the advanced search. So here I have um, keyword search for the first concept, mesh search for the first concept. So now I can add these two together. I can say add them to the search builder here and change this operator to or. So by doing this, we'll make a, a third group that has um, either your keywords or the mesh for this concept in one um, result set. Okay, so there's our combined result set for the first concept. So then we do the same thing um, for the next one. So I'm going to take this and I'll have to edit it because there's some, um, I might have to edit it because I crossed some things out. So I'm going to take this out here. So I'm just going to do it as though you accepted. Um, sorry, if we're going to edit, we have to click edit there. Um, I'm going to do this as though you accepted the changes I made. You don't need, you don't have to, but I'm just going to do it that way just so you can see what that would look like. 
Okay, so this is that search, and um, we can say add to history. Okay, this time um, I didn't put it in the title abstract field, so I'm going to delete that, actually. Let's I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to delete this from the history. Okay, all right, so we want to choose title abstract, right? And then put in our, our keyword search for the second concept here and search that. Back to the advanced search. And I'm going to come down here and grab your mesh search again. And we'll choose mesh terms, put that in here, and search that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll take the keyword search and title abstract, the mesh search, change this to or, and that gives us our big group for the second concept. So um, you would just keep doing that. You would do that for the next one as well. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. And then what you would do, your last step, would be to go back and add every um, third search, so your big groups that combine your um, keywords and title abstract and your mesh terms. So you have each, one row for each concept with your big groups. Leave this as and. And that's your final search. Um, so in this case, that's quite a lot of results. Um, probably want to edit this further. Um, but that would be the method you would use to go through these. OK, let me know if you have more questions um, as you keep developing your search. Talk to you later. Bye.